Thank you ever so much. It is indeed a wonderful and a historical day for us. At this point in time, before we enjoy the opportunity to make a remark at the historical place, I would like to ask our fellow compatriots and those in Radio Land and those who are here currently to join us for the moment of silence for the founder and father of this People Liberation Party. The late Dr. Kassar, as we stand today on this ground to commemorate the inaugurated people's struggle. Can you please rise? Amanda! 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 We are the sea. It often said that the revolutionary did not die. They live in and multiply in many other flowers. And it is in this case today, our compatriot, the standing soldiers who have joined ranks with our ancestors. We have come to reassure him and his desire for the redemptive struggle of the library to push away on. And there are men who will take the torch it is executing that well-designed populous people men. Thank you. With that being recognized, I also want to use this time to say to you, March 11 is indeed a historical day. This day, it is a day that a man who is the president of the Republic of Liberia. This is the day that God decided to give him his partner. The partner that make him happy while giving birth to all today. So I'd like to say the Women's League and all women here today to rise up and say happy birthday for Clyde Maria. Today is her birthday. And we say happy birthday. So, who that? Coach, thanks for the role you play in the life of this man. 
who have accumulated so much hate in this country, but notwithstanding the populous children of our praying people, but the firm blessing for God remain unstoppable. At this point in time, we have come to remind you. We want to use this time to give our missionary salutation to those brave men and women to appreciate their talent tree for standing up and recognizing that now is the time that after 100 the people's children see recently what I call the joint rights and chance to protect this land of our people in the interest of our children yet born, a generation yet born. Even though a division among them, today we have come to say that the sixth political party rise above those challenges. And as a political leader, we want to say thank you to all of the political party, East historical political party who have decided to protect peace, who have decided to redefine the people's struggle, who have decided to stand against these backward reactionary forces. Those men and women who are going to believe the only way they can survive here is to continue to check the peace of our country. And the only way they can survive here is to create a state of pandemonium, fear among our people. We got news for you. We want to say to you that the Liberian people are smarter than your tactics in the political chicane. We have been here. We want to say to you, who we were born and raised in this country, we do not seek your approval to exist here. And we also want to say to you here today, that if you are ever thinking that the peace of this country will be negotiated by you, you must rethink. peace in this country for the last 12 years, and we can say again, for the last two, six years, all of His Excellency, this peace was uninterrupted after many attempts. You can rest assured that I bring people in the midst of your challenging circumstances. You can be reassured that never again you have to put your law on your head in this country, and never again you have to chase you have to be chosen of this country and you be across the border and you be confined into refugees into a situation like me on a parable for your left to rule. You make the decision for us to be here today. And that decision has may be made by you. That decision will tell us to be protected by the people of this country. There is no shackle. There's no shelter, absolutely no shelter. You cannot say in any given circumstances, whether it be in New York or Washington, D.C. or London, the decision of this country will be made by the people's story. And that's why we are here today. And we have to do two things. I will call the chairperson and some psychic. We have come to declare and inaugurate the people's victory. Name and star, one world victory. That day is on March 11th. That's a declaration. This time, before God and man, 
We have come to decree and declare on behalf of the people's children. A groping God to the spirit of our ancestors whose blood was spilled in the soul for the liberation of our people. I've come to say to you, to the workers of the excellence of Dr. George Manawia, based on the township and the empirical facts of evidence, we've come to say to the world, and those of our partners, you can go to bed without stupid. And to dare simplify, re-echo and establish a class top one one veteran of the library. Mistaken. 
We can say to you are coming. We understand you very well. I want to salute the young man, the youth leader of the Congress of Democratic Change. He spoke eloquently when he mentioned. We understand what you guys are doing. You have nothing to take to the people. If you say, in Basel, we are failed, take your opportunity to the Labyrinth people. If you say you want to stop in Basel, we are, go and meet the people. Stop trying to subject the people into pandemonium. Stop subjecting the people into fear. Go and solve the issue of the Labyrinth people. You cannot create fear in this country. No one going to win the election of the best of fear in this country. No one going to win. No one going to lie their way to power. To come here today and begin to threaten a national process, the censor of our country, and tell you that those attackers, those are war trumps, have been beaten by people who have nothing to offer in their country. If you want to boycott, if you want to boycott these elections, let the Liberian people know. Do not come and you fear here. Do not come and create instability. If you want to back out this election, back out this election. We're going to show you how we're going to this process with everything you can imagine. You can mess it up with that. Because we have served the Liberian people and because we served them diligently, and we dedicated ourselves to the Labour Forum. The Labour Forum remains the only ultimate judges of the decision of going to power in this country. And nothing for sure that. Nothing for sure that. I want to say thank you to our parties. What I announced to you. What I announced here today. What I announced today. The last time we were out there, we announced the whole coming. But we're going very soon. We'll be announcing with our joining party, we'll be announcing a one-one venture march in our country across this country. A one-one venture, I'm telling the national community, if you think we challenge you to call your march our well. we challenge you to engage the people as well. We will declare here yeah, with our colleagues who have joined us. We will work time about numbers to ensure that yes indeed. One veteran march to the love and breath of this country, not in a sense of arrogance, but in a sense of appreciation, and saying to the world, I love is love. And today we want to declare, as the Secretary General of the Congress of Democratic Change, by a direct instruction by the Global Chairperson, I'm pleased to announce to you today, Congress first, members of the four estates. We want to say on the secretary will be declared at the national campaign headquarters of the coalition of democratic change. Of the coalition. That is the great coalition. Mr. Chairperson, can you please come?
thank you. I want to say thank you, we have our distinguished political leader of PLP, and all our party sons, and our party executive committee member. And at the time, I want to say, I want to distinguish with this sense of humility, with this sense of appreciation of our Almighty God. Today we stand here because God favors us. When we appear yet, because God has an intervention in our life. We want to pray for those our friends who could not make it to be here today. We want to pray for men who laid their life to God of the earth today. We want to say once there is God in heaven, we shall continue to reign and fulfill this purpose on earth. On the basis of that, I want to respectfully submit this point of time to send and take over the microphone to the national chairperson who is considered the common chairperson of the very coordination of the government. Sure. 
election strategy will win in the first round. Now that we have six political parties that have joined this cause, we are more than 75% sure that this party is on its way to a successful re-election this year. So thank you to the Mayor and Senator General of the CDC for the relentless and revolutionary intellectualism that demonstrably projects the resolve of the masses to stay united towards a CDC first round victory. Regardless, regardless of our confidence, which is established in realistic figures and statistics, we will not be complacent. We will continue to work as if we are still the least. Even though we will defeat the combined opposition, which is getting smaller by the day, and as a matter of fact, we are not satisfied with the six parties have joined. The six parties themselves will work with us to work with the other parties and bring them over. Because they didn't come because they like me. Even though most of them have not all admired our standard bearer, but that's not why they made that decision. They are here because they are convinced that the country is in the right hand and is headed in the right direction. They are convinced, they are convinced of the infrastructural progress, which is evident in the practical display, in the practical reality of road reconstruction or rehabilitation, new roads being built, new hospitals being built, the evidence of macroeconomic stability, the evidence of, of peace and stability, the evidence of freedom of speech, the evidence of good governance. The foundation of the future has been laid today. So they are here to work with us as one party, one Liberia, to ensure we continue to build on that foundation that projects hope, that has defined a clear pathway upon which the future of our country is more promising today than 100 years ago. So we have come in humanity to say thank you, Mr. Political Leader, my own big brother here, Mr. Doe, to say thank you to our Kimia. To say thank you to all the chairpersons of the different political parties. Thank you. You've made us happy today. We are not surprised because you are progressives. As we work together, we should not be easily satisfied. We love, thank you, Dad, thank you. We love our brothers on the other side. Let us reach by there and bring them over. To have nine parties supporting the president's re-election in historic and unique, but we must not be satisfied. Can we make it 15? Can we make it 15? Then let's get to work. Let's get to work on the next country is completely transformed under His Excellency George Manawia. You cannot change the house in the middle of the stream. When you're riding house, you reach in the middle of a river, you, that's not where you want to change the house, right? You must allow the house across the river. The president is in the middle of the stream. He has done tremendously well and needs to be supported to complete the journey. And that will take at least 12 years to complete the foundation that is laid and transform this country. Think about coming to Liberia four years from now and you see Rebels Free Highway. Just think about it. You would think that you are somewhere else. The country is on the right trajectory and we are happy. With that said, on behalf of His Excellency the President, 
I'd like to say to you, you have not made a mistake. You made the right decision. And as it was pronounced by the Secretary General here today, your headquarters now formed into the headquarters of the Coalition for Democratic Change this year. So all the campaign materials, all the paraphernalia, all the strategic planning of the institution of the party, of the coalition, will be done here. In fact, I will be discussing with him, I've not discussed it yet, but I'm inspired to say, I will be requesting of the president that the next governing council meeting will be here, right here at the PRP National Headquarters. All members of the six parties across the country now. Our headquarters in the counties or districts are also your headquarters. The headquarters are our headquarters. When you see a member of the Congress, he is your brother or your sister. And vice versa. He has chosen for a reason. Churches and mosques. Let's stand together and he show the purpose of God for this country, through His Excellency the President, will be realized after October's election, which, in my view, has been won before even a start. So it's clear. In all things you do, continue to remain peaceful and tolerant. Do not be provoked by the opposition, as explained and demonstrated by the Secretary General when he spoke. Don't be distracted by the shenanigans. Remain steadfast and focused. Remain steadfast and committed. In the words of the president, don't mind them. Don't mind them. Come to town next door at four o'clock to start preparing to launch the party's voters registr registration exercise. So all nine parties chairpersons. Coordinators, executive members are invited to be at the headquarters on Tuesday, 4 o'clock, to begin the deployment discussion of the voter registration exercise that must be taken and pursued aggressively. Having said that, we give God all the glory for the success of today. We say thank you to the President for the support that has made this progress successful today. PLP, you have read, you have scars that can easily fade. The president is cognizant. He will be a father to you. You cannot replace Dr. Cassell, but you will be a father that will continue to project the guardians and the parenthood that is required of him as the standard bearer of all nine political parties coming together. Thank you. The more we are together, together. Oh, yeah. The more we are together, the happier we will be. The more we are together, together, together. The more we are together, no, 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 ask me. The happier we will be.
Watching, this is Focus on Labrador Television Live. My name is Prince Moba. Uh, bidding you bye bye. Do join us another time for another live broadcast. Of course, this broadcast can never, can never be and would never be possible without the assistance, the help of my bosses there in the US of A, Mr. Dennis Ja, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Focus on Liberia. Mr. Anthony C, who is the operation manager, who does all the technical work, provides resources, provides everything we need here in Liberia. Thanks for following me. Thanks for watching. My name is Prince Moba. Bidding you bye bye. Thanks for following.